Okay, today we're going to learn about slope intercept form. So I went ahead here and made a graph for us. Uh, this is again the x axis, this is the y axis. I've drawn in a line uh, that I do not know the slope of. Uh, so, but I also do not know some of my point values. So this point value here that I do not know, I just labeled it x and then y because I know the x-coordinate is first and the y-coordinate is second. For this one, I do know that the first coordinate x is 0 because it is on the y-axis. axis, And it's because it's on the y-axis, right here I know that this x has a value of 0 and I do know that, so therefore, this is 0. What I don't know is the second coordinate, the y value. I don't know how far that is away from zero. So I gave it another variable, b. And what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how we come up with the slope intercept form based on that. We know that we have a formula, y to the 2 minus y to the 1 over x to the 2 minus x to the 1 will give me m which again, m is just a, a variable that we identify as the slope, okay? So how we get slope-intercept form is we simply substitute our two points in into the slope formula. So for y2 and x2, I am going to put x and y. So I'm going to write y over x. The slope formula has me subtracting. So I need to subtract the other y value. The other y value is b. So I'm going to go ahead and place a b in there. I'm going to substitute the other x value with the, this coordinate of 0. And I know that when I do this, I'm going to get a slope of m. So I'm going to write that equal to m. So what I go ahead and do is go ahead and simplify from here. Uh, y minus b, I can't simplify. So I just have it y minus b. But I can simplify x minus 0 because I know when I take something or I take 0 away from something, I just get that original answer. So like 5 minus 0, I know is 5. So x minus 0 will give me just x. All right. So as of right now, I have y minus b over x equals m. So my next step is I want to try to get rid of the x on the bottom here. So as a result, when I want to try to get rid of the x on the bottom, since I'm dividing, I'm going to do the opposite of that. I'm going to multiply by x. And this goes back to our equations ability. So I'm going to multiply by x over here. As a result, this simplifies down. These cancel out. And I le I'm left with y minus b equals m times x. My next step is I'm going to try to get y by itself. To get y by itself, I need to get rid of this b. To get rid of this b, I have to add it. So I add it to both sides. Because this cancels out, leaves me with only y. I cannot add b to this term or this term, so I have to keep it separate. So I end up with m x plus b. What you need to understand from this is y is a y value. m is your slope. x is going to be an x value. And b, this is going to be a new concept, is going to be your y-intercept. What you need to think about with y-intercept is, I think of football, when a player goes up and intercepts the ball from the other team, they step in between the pass receiver and the quarterback. And that's kind of what this line right here is done. So this is your y-axis. Wherever this line that you've created uh, crosses that y-axis, that is referred to as your y-intercept. So this right here is your y-intercept. So let's go ahead and look at a couple equations that already are written for us. So let's write the equation. I'm going to write the equation y equals 2 thirds x minus 4. And basically what I want to do is 
with this is I just want to identify what the slope is and what the y-intercept is. Notice that y and x are here. I do not have any values for y or x. So I'm going to identify the slope in this problem. The slope in this problem is equal to right this right here, which is two-thirds. The y-intercept in this case is located right here. Notice that we do not have addition. We have subtraction of 4, which means that this is going to be a negative 4. Right. Let's look at another one. y equals 5x plus 3. The slope would be 5 over 1, or also known as 5. The y-intercept... Notice in this problem we have a plus 3, so that means we're going to have a positive y-intercept. So the y-intercept in this one is going to be 3. So I have a slope of 5 over 1, or also known as 5. Excuse me, and the y-intercept is 3. We've done two practice problems. Let's go ahead and try to do two problems on our own. The first problem you're going to try to do on your own is y equals 1 fourth, uh, sorry, x minus 6. And then the other problem you're going to try to do is y equals negative x plus 5. What I want you to do is identify the slope and the y-intercept for each of these problems. All right? Go ahead and do that now. Would you please pause your video, and when you're ready, you can unpause it. All right, let's check your work. The slope for the first problem here is going to be located right here in front of the x. So the slope is going to be this number, or in this case, this fraction of 1 over 4. The y-intercept in this case is going to be a negative, because of subtraction, 6. So we have a slope of 1 fourth and a y-intercept of negative 6. We're going to come back to the slope in this problem. Let's do the y-intercept first. Again, I notice that this is a positive, so therefore it's going to be a positive number down here, and it's going to be a positive 5. The, inner, the slope in this one, you'll notice there is no number in front of the x, so I have to assume, or I, I have to use my knowledge of what I know, what number can I place in front of x that doesn't change the value of x, and that is 1. As a result, since I can put a 1 there, the slope in this one is really negative 1, or you might see it as negative 1 over 1. 